PICA officials are responding to the pothole problem. Yesterday, we reported on the worst potholes in the city. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi tells us just how much work it takes to fix the damage from this winter. It can be costly to fix your tires after plummeting through the city's potholes. You might even have to break out your spare. But one Topeka man lands at a strike. John Sherry was driving east on 17th Street when a pothole damaged his granddaughter's car. He guesses it was at least six inches deep. I think probably within six weeks I had a check in the mail for brand new for the tire. I just sent him the bill, of course, for the tire and everything. Topeka officials say the frequency of bad weather has made the potholes worse this year. Had seven crews out today filling potholes, and that's something that we do every single day. We filled over 5,000 potholes already this year. But that doesn't include every pothole you may have encountered. A hole in a parking lot at, say, Taco Bell or the mall or Walmart, that's the responsibility of the property owner. So the city can't go onto private property and fill somebody else's pothole for them. There is a way to claim damage to your car. So if we know about the pothole and it's been two days and you hit it, the city wasn't negligent because there are other potholes that are maybe more severe that we have to go and fill first. The city has five days to fill it once they know about the pothole. Damage caused after those five days could be the city's responsibility. Sherry's son also had damage from a pothole, but there wasn't enough evidence to say the city was responsible. He had a pothole too, but he it was a one-time pothole. It just occurred, didn't get his money for his tire. John's advice is to take a picture of your car, send it into the city, and see what you can get. In Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News.